guys. So, uh, we are outside in my semi-usual haunt of uh, Malcolm X Park here in Adams Morgan in D.C. Uh, partially because the weather has been absolutely gorgeous these past few days, and I definitely get the impression that we are not in for very many other days of good weather left in, uh, in this calendar year. Um, if you guys were at the uh, PEX Halloween party this past weekend in, uh, uh, on the USS New Jersey in Camden, New Jersey, you know that it got a little bit cold, and uh, I'm going to hold on to every warm minute that I possibly can. So, now that we're outside, what are we playing with today? Well, it's a contact trick that's based in this concept right here, wherein we roll the head back into the elbow pit and catch the tether as it comes up into our hand. We throw the tether back out and the head will roll straight off of our forearm forward back into our waiting palm, right? If you take a look at it from the side, it looks like this. Oops. Nifty trick. Poi uh, Boy and uh, Suriel are known to use this trick all the time. Specifically, they use it from a place where they have both of the poi tethers rotating behind their arms in a butterfly kind of fashion, and they let them roll inward to catch and push them back out at the end. The catch is still, uh, rather the release is still a little tricky for me. Okay, so this looks nif nifty enough, but uh, what can this teach us about contact? Well. If we switch to camera number two, right here, you'll notice that as I perform this trick, it looks from the front as though the uh, angle of the tether is straight against my back, yes? Which, if we did perform it that way, would require um, a slightly uncomfortable kind of twist out of our shoulders in order to ensure that we had the right angle. This is also undesirable for another reason. Namely, if I let the poi go when they're in that angle, straight back behind my arm, they're going to roll off the back side of my arm. Whereas, if I have the poi plane at a slightly oblique angle to my arm, the natural tendency is going to wrap around the arm, which is exactly what we wanted to do if we're going to make that catch, right? Interesting. Why is this? Well, it turns out that one of these basic rules of uh, contact poi is that uh, the direction of the tether and the handle also determines uh, the direction of the head, which sounds like kind of a dumb moment until you realize how useful it is for defining the difference between that kind of a roll and that kind of a roll, which this idea of having it at a slightly oblique angle is also exactly the... Uh, the, the same angle we needed to be at in order to do that transfer from inner forearm to outer forearm uh, that uh, Boy Boy has made famous, and uh, which I've been doing to death ever since. So if we switch back to the front angle, if I begin rotating my two poi behind me, and we switch back to the side angle for a second, you can see the uh, poi planes are totally not straight against my shoulders, but when we switch back to the front view, they don't need to be, they're close enough such that when I make the catch, it's close enough that to the audience, it's going to look as though uh, I am making those circles. So, it's a great lesson both in terms of the dynamics of where you want to send the poi, and also in terms of uh, the dynamics of what the audience can see and what they don't need to see when you're performing the trick, yeah? So, um, I hope you guys run with this and have some fun with it, and I hope you guys can do it much cleaner than I can. Uh, thank you all for watching, and have yourselves a great week. Peace.